The Effects of Overfishing by Tatiana and Jenna The purpose of this video is to bring awareness to the harmful impacts caused by overfishing and how to stop it. Overfishing is a serious issue that occurs in ocean communities. At least 60% of the world's most popular seafoods are put in danger from overfishing. Fisheries along the west coast gain $1 million per 55 species of fish. Although fish are supposed to be a renewable resource, when too many fish are caught at a time, it puts them in danger. There are many methods that are used to catch fish, but a lot of them have very harmful effects. Some non-sustainable fishing methods include bottom trawling, longlining, and dredging. Bottom trawling is a fishing method which involves pulling an enormous net that is attached to a large ship. It drags through ecosystems such as coral reefs. Along with bycatching, this method does a great deal of damage to ocean habitats. Long lining is another dangerous fishing method that requires a main line that has baited hooks attached to intervals by means of branch lines. Although it catches a wide variety of sea creatures, it often results in catching unwanted organisms. Dredges are large baskets composed of metal that aim to catch shellfish, oysters, scallops, and clams. As a boat goes along, the sandy bottom gets spewed into the air. Some endangered species are the red snapper, bluefin tuna, Atlantic salmon, and rockfish. Some negatively impacted sea organisms are the vaquita, leatherback sea turtle, pink muckets, and shellfish. In order to effectively change the statistics of overfishing, we should make some minor adjustments to our shopping list. For example, instead of purchasing Atlantic salmon, opt for Alaskan salmon instead. For more information, please visit We Wish to Save the Fish. Dot weebly.com